Hi, I'm Rashmi and welcome to my show. Today we're going to do a special episode on prenatal yoga. I have Kajal with me who's going to help us, who's going to show all the different poses that we can do. Uh, before we start, today we're going to do prenatal yoga when you're in your first trimester and you can continue do doing this for the rest of your pregnancy. But there are a few contraindications that you must follow. We don't do any deep twists, we don't do any deep back bends, we don't hold forward bends, no inversions. Um, we try and be as gentle as we can and if you have any pain during the practice, I would tell you to stop. And before you do this, please consult your doctor and check whether it's okay for you to try doing this. We also don't do any core work, so no abdominal workout because we don't want to put any pressure on your abdomen. Yeah, so we're going to start uh, with Kajal sitting on uh, the mat. We have a gentle cushioning with a towel just because you want your joints to be protected. So you're going to sit in Vajrasana and you're going to open your knees out a little bit more to just give some space for yourself. We're going to use a pillow and keep the palms on your pillow and you're going to come into child's pose. So if you have a short table, you can also keep that table as a rest. And you just want to stay here and relax and just keep breathing deeply. Let's take a long lean breath in and slowly breathe out. What you want to feel is extension in your spine. Let's take another deep breath in and slowly breathe out. Slowly, start sitting up, very very slowly, very gently, feel like you're rolling up. And if you can get your knees a little bit closer in. You're going to slowly inhale and raise your hands up. Interlock your fingers, let your pointer finger point upwards and stretch upwards. So while you do this, you want to feel like you're creating space in your abdominal muscles. As you become bigger when you're pregnant, you feel like you don't have space anymore. So you just want to try and create more space for your baby and for yourself. Keep breathing deeply. Take a long deep breath in and exhale. Once again, deep breath in and exhale. Okay, and slowly get your hands down by your sides. You want to come on your fours, on your hands and knees now. Place your palms on the floor. So your palms are under your shoulders. Your knees will be a little bit more than hip distance apart. So you want to stay with your back flat. So you can just get your palms a little further ahead. So as you inhale, we're going to do the cat stretch. So inhale and look up and arch your spine. So again, you'll feel a gentle stretch. Do only as much as you can. And as you exhale, we're not going to lift up too much. We're just going to touch your chin to your chest because you don't want to contract your abdominal muscles. Once again, inhale and look up. Exhale, touch your chin to your chest. Inhale, once again, look up, arch your spine. Exhale, touch your chin to your chest and straighten your back. Inhale, look up and arch your spine. Exhale, touch your chin to your chest. One last time. Inhale, look up and arch your spine. Exhale, touch your chin to your chest. Slowly come back to the center. And you're going to curl your toes in and lift up now into the inverted V pose. So in the inverted V pose, you spread your legs a little bit more than you would usually. And we're not going to hold this for too long. So you come to your maximum stretch and then you slowly start walking forward towards the front of your mat. You can bend your knees, be as comfortable as you want to be. Now we have kept, we just, we have kept a chair here in front so that you can use a chair as support. So you can keep your palms on the chair. Just stay here, come into a flat back and then slowly start rolling up. So, we're going to do three rounds of Surya Namaskar now. Kajal, if you can take one small step forward towards the chair. As you inhale, raise your hands up and stretch upwards. 
Again, lengthening your spine, increasing the length. As you exhale, get your hands down from the sides. Place your palms down on the chair. And using the support of the chair, take your right leg back and keep your right knee on the floor. So again, we don't want to put too much pressure on your core, don't want to stretch too much. And you can slowly get your palms down on the floor. Now, if you're not able to place both your palms on either side of your foot, you can increase the distance. Yeah, if you're not able to do this and place your palms flat, you can actually get both your palms on the inside of your left foot. And you can open your left foot out a little bit more so that you feel a good stretch. From here, you're going to just take your left knee to the back and keep it down on the floor. Again, coming back onto your foes. And once you come into this position, we lift up into the inverted V pose. So curl your toes in, lift up in the inverted V pose and stretch. Again, feeling that length in your spine and stretching out your hamstrings. Slowly get your knees back down on the floor. And let's get your right leg forward. Very slowly getting your right leg forward. Again, she's kept both her palms on the inside of her right foot. Now, from here, you're going to use the support of the chair to come back up. So, you're going to place your palms back on the chair. And once you take the support, you get your left leg forward using the chair. And then you slowly come back into standing, raising your hands up. And again, feel that length. Stretch upwards. Exhale, you can join your palms together. Do the same thing on the left side. So, as you inhale, raise your hands up and stretch upwards. As you exhale, hands down from the sides. Slowly place your palms down on the, on the chair. Taking your left leg to the back. Using the support of the chair, placing your palms down on the floor. Nice. And then take your right leg back, keeping your knee down. Coming onto your foes. And slowly curl your toes in and lift up into the inverted V pose. Again, you want to feel that length in your spine. You want to feel that length in your hamstrings. Slowly getting your knees back down on the floor. And getting your left leg forward. You can join your palms together and then take the support of the chair. If you want me to slide it a little closer to you. And then take your left, uh, right leg forward. Inhale, slowly raise your hands up and stretch upwards. Exhale, join your palms together. We're going to do the second round of Surya Namaskar with one variation in it. So, inhale, raise your hands up and stretch your hands up to the back. Slowly get your hands down from the sides, getting your palms on the chair and take your right leg back, keeping your right knee on the floor, palms down and then slowly take your left leg back. Now, once you come into this position, adjust your hands, adjust your legs so that you are in the most comfortable on your force position. And we're going to do the cat cow. So slowly as you inhale, look up, arching your spine. Exhale, touch your chin to your chest. Again, we're not going to lift up your spine too much. Inhale, look up and arch your spine. Exhale, touch your chin to your chest. Inhale, look up and arch your spine. Exhale, touch your chin to your chest. And then come back to the center, curl your toes in and we're going to lift up into the inverted V pose and stretch. Again, you can increase the distance between your feet if you feel more comfortable doing that. Get a good stretch and then slowly get your knees back down on the floor. And let's take your right leg forward. Pressing your palms on the chair. Drag yourself forward, take your left leg forward. Slowly coming up, inhale, hands up and stretch upwards. Exhale, slowly get your palms together. On the left side, inhale, raise your hands up and stretch upwards. Exhale, slowly bending forward, getting your palms down on the chair. And take your left leg back, get your left knee on the floor. Palms down. 
Slowly take your right leg back. Again, adjust your position. Feel the most comfortable on your foes and inhale, look up and arch your spine. Exhale, touch it into your chest. Inhale, once again, look up and arch your spine. Exhale, touch it into your chest. Inhale, look up and arch your spine. Exhale, slowly touch it into your chest. Come back to the center, curl your toes in and lift up into the inverted V pose. Feel the stretch. Lengthen your spine. Slowly get your knees back down on the floor. Palms on the chair slowly and get your left leg forward. And get your right leg forward. Inhale, slowly raise your hands up. Exhale, join your palms together. One last round. Inhale, raise your hands up. And stretch upwards exhale slowly get your hands down on the chair so if you notice she's not bending all the way down when you do prenatal yoga you're not bending all the way forward because you'll compress your abdominal muscles so you're coming into a flat back using the support of the chair and then you slowly take your right leg back palms down on the floor and take your left leg back so we come back on your fours Increase the distance between your palms so that they are shoulder distance apart. Your knees will be a little bit more apart. Now as you inhale, she's going to raise her right hand up and look up. So it's a very gentle twist, it's not a deep twist. And exhale, you can get your hand down. Do the same thing on the left. Inhale, raise your left hand up. Exhale, get your left hand down. We'll do it again on the right side. Inhale, right hand up. Exhale, hand down. Inhale, left hand up. Exhale, left hand down. Staying there, curl your toes in and we lift up into the inverted V pose and stretch. Again, we're not holding this for too long. If you feel too much of a stretch, you can bend your knee and keep it there. Slowly get your knees back down on the floor. And take the support of the chair if you need to and let's get your right leg forward. And get your left leg forward. Coming back up, inhale, raise your hands up, stretch upwards, exhale, palms together. Last round of Surya Namaskar, if you're feeling tired and exhausted, then you can just relax in child's pose. Inhale, raise your hands up and stretch up, exhale, slowly get your hands down from the sides, place your palms on the chair, using the support, take your left leg back, palms down on the floor and take your right leg back, stay on your fours. Once again, now we'll start with the left. Inhale, raise your left hand up, looking up. Exhale, slowly get your left hand down. Inhale, right hand up, looking up. Exhale, right hand down. Once again, inhale, left hand up. Exhale, left hand down. Inhale, right hand up. Exhale, right hand down. And curl your toes in. Lift up into the inverted V pose and stretch. Slowly get your knees back down on the floor and from here, just get your hands forward, take your left leg forward and get your right leg forward, inhale, slowly raise your hands up and stretch upwards, exhale slowly and get your palms together. Okay, we're going to sit down on our mat now and we're going to do the butterfly pose but the konasan. So there are two ways of doing this. Uh, you can sit with your feet together, open your knees out. Again, if you want to feel like you need some support in the front, you can stretch your hands forward and keep walking forward. If you also feel like you can use the chair. Oh, you can also use the pillow if you need some support for your head. So you can place your head on the pillow if you want to feel more comfortable. So you're just going to stay here and relax and breathe. We're not going to do too much. Just focus on your breathing. Focus on deep exhalations. And just try and relax more and more. Let's take a long deep breath in. And slowly breathe out. Once again, deep breath in. And slowly breathe out. Long deep breath in 
and slowly breathe out. Stay there. Keep breathing and relax. Let's take another deep breath in and slowly breathe out. And now you can slowly sit up. <clears throat> We're going to do one arm stretch. So if you feel comfortable sitting in the butterfly pose or Baddha Konasana, you can continue sitting like this. I'm going to raise your right hand up and take your right hand behind your back and take your left hand from below and try and hold your fingers together. So you want to stay in this position with your arms clasped. If you're not able to hold your hands together, you can get your hands a little bit lower and stay at your maximum hold. Stay here, take a deep breath in and slowly breathe out. Once again, long deep breath in and slowly exhale. And we'll switch hands. So you get your left hand above and your right hand from below. And again, you do as much as you can. Take another deep breath in. And slowly breathe out. Once again, long deep breath in. And slowly breathe out. Okay. Slowly get your hands down. Okay, we're going to come back on our fours. So you can come onto your fours. Use the support either of the chair or of the pillows. And come into slow standing position. Stay there holding the chair and once you're there bend your knees and slowly straighten your back out come into standing straightening your back and keeping your knees bent you can stretch your hands straight in front of you you're going to do the chair pose so we're doing utkatasana on the chair pose what this does is it stretches you out again feeling that sense of elongation in your abdomen and also building strength in your legs, which you really need. Prenatal yoga is just preparing yourself for the rest of the nine months and for your delivery. So try and hold this pose for as long as you can, preferably for about three to four breaths. When you can't hold it any longer, you again grab hold of the support of the chair and you can come back into a flat back pose. So you come back and straighten your knees. We just do that one more time. So whenever you're ready, Again, you can bend your knees, come back into standing and straighten your hands out. Feel that sense of elongation. Hold it and breathe. Long breaths. You hold it for as long as you can. And again, once you can't hold it any longer, again, you place your palms back on the chair and you straighten your legs out. Okay. Come back into standing. We're going to do one balancing pose. We'll do the tree pose. So you can turn around and face forward. So you're going to bend your right knee and place your right foot on your left thigh. And then you're going to inhale and raise both your hands up. So now in the tree pose, if you're not able to balance, it's nice to use some kind of support. So if you feel like you need a chair by your side, you can keep the chair by your side and if you ever feel like falling, you can use the support or you can just touch your back to the wall and just stand here and hold. You want to focus straight ahead in front of you and just again long deep breaths, We're holding only for three to four breaths. Once you're done on one side, slowly you get your leg down and you can slowly get your hands down and try it again on the other side. So bending your left knee now, raise your left leg up, placing your left foot on your right thigh. Inhale, slowly raise your hands up. Breathe. Long deep breaths. And once you're done holding the tree pose, again you can slowly get your leg down and get your hands down and relax. So one last thing we're going to do today is squats. 
so squats are very important uh, when it comes to prenatal yoga um, so you're going to stretch your legs out open your legs out keep your feet pointing diagonally out we're not going to sit all the way down so just a halfway sit so as you exhale you're going to slowly bending your knees sitting low and as you inhale you're going to come back up exhale going down inhale up exhale going down inhale up keep going exhale four inhale up exhale five inhale up exhale six inhale up exhale seven inhale up exhale eight inhale up exhale nine inhale up exhale ten inhale up we'll do ten more exhale eleven inhale up exhale twelve inhale up exhale thirteen inhale up exhale fourteen inhale up exhale fifteen inhale up five more exhale sixteen inhale up exhale 17 inhale up exhale 18 inhale up exhale 19 inhale up last one exhale 20 inhale slowly come up and relax nice so you get a leg, good leg workout when you do that so we're going to go into our final uh, resting and relaxing pose before we rest and relax we're going to do a few breathing exercises so before we start that, we will just sit down in a very comfortable position. So, usually uh, you want to make yourself as comfortable as possible. I would ask Kajal to uh, set up her pillows however she feels comfortable. And you can slowly turn and sit. So we'll first sit with our back straight. We'll do a few rounds of alternate nostril breathing. So you want to sit in a cross-legged position. Keep your left palm open on your knee. With your right hand, place two fingers of your right hand at the center of your forehead. Thumb closing your right nostril. Exhale completely through your left. And then inhale through your left. Close left. Exhale through your right. Inhale through your right. Close right. Exhale through your left. So you want to keep going on your own. You're inhaling through your left. Exhaling through your right. And then you inhale through your right. And then you exhale through your left. You don't want to hold your breath. Throughout prenatal yoga, we don't hold our breath at all because it puts too much pressure on your lungs and also stops the flow of oxygen. Just long deep inhales and long and deeper exhales. And once you exhale through your left, you can slowly drop your hand down. Let's take another deep breath in and slowly breathe out. We'll rest and relax so you can just lie down. We don't want to lie down flat on your back. We don't, so we are using slight incline while you lie down. 
you feel like you want to stretch your legs out you can if you feel like you want to open your knees out and stay in the butterfly pose you can do that as well so you want to stay in the most comforting relaxing position possible what you could also do is if you have blocks or if you have smaller pillows you can just keep that under your hands to feel a little bit more rested you can just relax and breathe let's take another long deep breath in and slowly breathe out once again deep breath in and slowly exhale Just take your attention to your tummy. So you take your attention to your little one inside you, and just feel that air when you inhale, going into your abdomen, and then coming back out. You feel like keeping your hands on your tummy, sending some energy. You can just do that, or you can continue lying down. How you feel comfortable. Just feeling that connection. Take another long, deep breath in. And slowly breathe out. You can continue resting and relaxing on your mat for as long as you feel like. I hope you enjoyed this session of prenatal yoga. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.